So I'm reporting here. You might want to move it a little bit. Uh, to the right. To the right. To the right. Yeah. Move the mic with you. Remember, always got to talk into the mic, otherwise. Yeah. I'll always lift the mic here and just. So if you move it there, it won't move the way you want. Okay, so I'm recording you guys. And uh, I'm going to set up the telephone and the lines over here. And you're ready to go. Go ahead. All right. Hello, welcome to 790 The Ticket NFL Roundup. I'm Jesse Nader, I'm along with Ben Curtis, and today we've got a lot of things to get to. First off, we're going to talk, we're going to keep going with our AFC East preview. we got to talk Jets and Dolphins. The New York Jets, of course, they have a quarterback controversy. Mark Sanchez, Geno Smith, heck, even Michael Vick, who knows? Yeah, they, you know, Michael Vick, we've got a caller coming in. Remember to call us, we got a caller for... Hello? Hello? Thanks a lot, Thanks man. How you doing? You know, I will give you some hope, Adam. I think that the Jets, you know, they gave Michael Vick, before he went down last year, was doing great. I had him on my fantasy football team, and he was putting up great numbers. He had the Eagles winning football games. And most importantly, I think not only their quarterback position, they've got more weapons around. You look significantly better on the wide receiver corps this year. They got they drafted Shaq Evans. They drafted... Um, more guys for they drafted Jason Morrow, the tight end. He's a gr great big body. Plus, they added Chris Johnson and Eric Decker, so they should be definitely better on the wide receiver corps for whoever the quarterback is next year. Yeah, I'm gonna give you even more hope because I'm gonna say right now I'm gonna be bold. I'm saying that th that this upcoming season, Michael Vick is gonna be one of the ten best quarterbacks in the National Football League. That's crazy. I is it crazy, Jesse? Because I think that he has. I think he's cleaned up his act. Since that whole dog well, game, Vic that might not even them. start. Vic might not even start. I, I think that if Rex Ryan gives him the chance to start, that he's going to do fantastic. I think Geno Smith is frankly a bust. I'm Personally. not a huge fan of Geno Smith, but I think Michael Vick is going to be one of the top ten quarterbacks in this league this upcoming season. Well, right, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Well, I totally disagree with you on that one now. But first off, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back here on 790 Ticket and talk Dolphins next. Do you want to go to Rapids Water Park? Rapids is just $13 a day to have a great experience and to be in the water having a great time in Fort Lauderdale. So come out to our West Palm Beach location for just $13 a day and have a great time. We're back here on White, White Heart 790 The Ticket NFL Roundup Radio. Um, we're talking AFC East preview Jets and Dolphins. We just got done with the Jets talking about Michael Vick. Uh, ben here making a crazy prediction saying that Michael Vick, top 10 quarterback, when I'm saying he might not even be the, the man leading the offense next year. But that's not important now. We're talking Miami Dolphins hometown team. All right, the Miami Dolphins, obviously, with all the uh, off field. Issues, but they had a good draft. They drafted Jawan James to help on the obviously disgruntled offensive line, and Ryan Tannehill is a decent quarterback, and they got some deep threats in Mike Wallace and Brian Hartman. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I gotta disagree with you. I think the Dolphins are looking at a seven and nine season again next year. You know, Jawan James. Yes, they needed an offensive lineman, but they needed a secondary guy too. And Jawan James, the mock draft that I looked at. Mel Kiper, Todd McShay had Juwan James in the second, late second round. I'm not talking 13th pick in the second round. I'm talking 28th pick in the second round going to the New England Patriots. And some even had him in the early third round. So what do the Dolphins do? They beat them all the old Dolphins self, and they reach for a guy that they could have gotten in the second round. And in my opinion, the Dolphins could have used a guy like Darquise Denard that went to the Cincinnati Bengals with the next two picks. And, and which would have made them a better team. Just mistake after mistake the Dolphins keep making. Their only pick, good pick in the draft was Jarvis Landry, the wide receiver out of LSU, who is going to be a third, maybe fourth receiver on this team. So, you know, I'm, I've, I'm looking at another disappointing year for the Dolphins and another year where the fans will not fill seats. You know, I'm looking the other way. Honestly, I think jo the point of the draft is not to get the best overall player. You do that with the first overall pick. When you're sitting at 19 in the NFL draft, 
you won't get the needs that you need. I, I think that Jawan James is that need. You know, we're going to have to cut this segment short. We'll be right back on NFL Roundup. This is 790 The Ticket. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. 